But I like to dispute the argument that I made no points. You made points in your video, just that none of them made any sense, and I refuted all of them, which you all saw in my last commentary. I made the point that it is... I like to think, make the point that Otaku Man brought up this stupid conspiracy theory, and the fact that this woman never hi even hinted at the whole sexist thing. No! Were you not paying attention to when she said it's insulting to her fans, and female fans especially? That seems like an implication of sexism to me. You have, and you have to look at the fact that he's blaming Morgan Webb when even if, even if this was valid, even if it was, she's blaming, he's made, blaming Morgan Webb when she, he should, if he even made sense, blame the writer of the review. Well, at one point in his commentary, not that you were paying attention, but that Morgan Webb, or the person who was writing the review, hint hint, is implying that it's sexist. So obviously he acknowledged that someone else could have written the review. I don't remember her last name, her first name is Abby, who has done a lot of work. So, just getting into that. By the way, if you want, go look at Otaku Man's, uh, commentaries they are comedy gold because this is what happens when you piss someone off it's it's beautiful but yeah basically i guess i i, I have to admit that uh yeah i was too jokey so never mind just gonna stick with the facts gonna play it straight and just going to roll with the punches all right no jokes no fooling around serious business time all right okay you know what you sound like such an idiot right now just because the woman has a different opinion or different view on something, you are berating her by calling her stupid? He's calling her stupid because she keeps implying that Samus is sexist when she's clearly not. That doesn't seem very, well, fair. I don't like this. I think a lot of gamers kind of have this feeling, Otaku Man not being the only one, that if something bad is said about something they like, they get really defensive, up in arms. And Otaku Man here, and in this entire video, is a perfect example of a gamer who is just very, very touchy and very defensive. And it just shows through and through, unfortunately. If anything, you're being more sexist to both genders, thinking that women are this stupid to think this, and just men are too stupid to think this. Also, you ever think women may have been working on the characterization board on designing her character or the story or how she acts? Okay, first of all, this doesn't make any sense. It doesn't matter if a man or a woman wrote it. She's not trying to get that across or anything like that. Look, what he's saying is that Samus's personality would have been all the much same if women had been working on the project, just as if men had. She's trying to get across that this is stupid. She's trying to get across that the characterization is completely different from anything that has been seen up to this point. Don't forget the sexism part about that. And on top of that, that this isn't a prequel, this is a sequel. Sequel in the later timeline. That So basically showing that this makes no goddamn sense. And the argument of, well, did you ever think that women may have wrote this? Okay, that's like when people were calling Jazz, Jazz, the character of Jazz racist in Transformer 1 and the two little robots in Transformers 2. And if you were to respond, well, black, did you ever think that black people may have written the script? Hmm? So it can't be racist. Yes, it is. You know, mm, you ever thought of that? Hmm? How about you read into those things first, okay? Yeah. This woman has saved the galaxy half a dozen times over, and she's standing around moping over this Adam guy in long, droning monologues that sound less like the most badass bounty hunter in known space and more like a 12-year-old girl reading her journal. While it may not be the best character presentation, that doesn't make the game bad. She's not saying that this one aspect, this one aspect makes the game bad. We're only a little less than a minute into this review. She didn't say that this one aspect makes the game bad, and if you watch the whole review, she points out multiple things. Like, she talks about, oh, by the way, lovingly, Otaku Man doesn't show you this part, where she talks about how the gameplay doesn't with the D-pad in a third-person perspective isn't that good, how clunky the first-person perspective, all those things. 
That's what makes this game bad. Yeah, but if you watched Otaku Man 29's Aftermath video, you would hear his two cents on that part, too. But of course, you're pretending that it doesn't exist so you can make this point. Not just this one flaw. You're making it sound like this is all she talked about, when, in the entire three-minute review, it was part of what she talked about. She's making it out to be as if they intended to insult females. If anything, by actually giving her a personality, isn't that complimenting women rather than Samus just being silent all the time? Again, what a terrible argument by saying just because this they gave her a personality is something positive towards women. Would you rather she have no personality at all? They're complimenting women saying that they can have personality just as much as men. That doesn't mean it's a good idea. That's like saying, well, at least Bella Swan has a personality. No! Many people who've read the book will tell you that Bella Swan is a Mary Sue, and many people, including myself, believe that being a Mary Sue doesn't count as personality. Anybody who's read the books will tell you that it is one of the most manipulating, bitchy, whore personalities you will ever see. Just because Samus has a personality doesn't mean it's a good idea, or at least it's a good personality to give this character. Well, it's too bad because Otaku Man didn't say that. He said that it was better than nothing. And if you, if you play the games and you read up, Samus kind of already had a personality. She had a very limited personality, we didn't know much about it, and honestly, I think that kind of made the character cool, much in the sense of Wolverine. We didn't know much about her, and that was really cool. It was all sort of dark and mysterious. Well, in, in one of the Metroid games, excuse me because I'm so lazy I can't go figure out which one, it was on the Game Boy Advance, but in one of them, she had a small hint of a personality, but at the same time, that was a relatively bland personality. But when you really turn up, when you really uh, turn on the lights and bring up the curtains, you kind of just go, oh, well that's kind of dumb. Especially with this whole personality thing, which doesn't fit the character at all. You know, I mean, at least she has a personality now. At least she, you know, has thoughts and these different emotions that we can, you know, try and connect with. Also, it's not like there's a monologue every five minutes. So far, the only monologue I've noticed is at the beginning of the game. I'm not sure if this woman wrote this review, but she sure is emphasizing and implying certain things, such as sexism. Confession time. So come around with your laws And still you consider what it will cost you. Um, I'm sorry, miss, but, uh, we're kinda on a schedule here. I mean, we only have around about a minute and a half left, so could you, uh, oh gee, I don't know, talk about the game, the story? You still haven't exactly explained what the story is about. You briefly mentioned something about a conspiracy before you went off about how the game is apparently offensive to women. Honestly, the gameplay anytime soon instead of these stupid jokes that don't make any fucking sense? Anytime soon would be nice. Or tell us what the music's like, or the graphics, or something. Remember in the first part where I said that, that one of his statements would come back to bite him? This is the part now. You're saying at the moment that she doesn't talk about the gameplay, or the sound, or anything else. No, he said that she's t spending too much time on the sexism stuff, on her personality and these stupid jokes when she should be getting to the review of the actual game and all the things that he mentioned. And if you would watch his entire video, he'd be right. He'd be right. Absolutely be right. But uh, there's wrong problem. Didn't you say something, oh, I don't know, along the lines of this? But, um, I don't agree with this review at all, but I'm just going to get into the sexism part. So you're complaining that she only talks about the sexism part and nothing else, but that's only because you show nothing but her when she's talking about the sexism part. If you watch if you watch the X play review and then watch this video, he only talks about the first minute and a half. It's only a three and a half minute video, but it's weird. And that other half, she starts talking about the gameplay, the graphics, and the music. Hmm. It's almost as if a talk man didn't want us to see that part. God damn it, I don't wanna repeat myself, but I have to. You misunderstood him. That's basically what's going on. 
Now, I'm quoting Shadowhunter here thinking that it was just laziness, as he would say. I disagree. It's almost as if, oh, Otaku Man was pulling wool over our eyes and just didn't want us to see something. But, you know, he would never do something like that. He would never, ever do a Fox News. I mean, no, he's just too much of a stand-up guy. Again, he did mention the gameplay and all that other stuff in his Aftermath video. But, of course, you won't show us that because you're pulling a Fox News, Mr. Hypocrite. I want to add this part because I said I told Shadowhunter 85X that I would. I'm going to quote him here because I had this idea too, but I think he had this first. He, we were talking about the scene. There's an infamous scene in Metroid Other M where when Red Leaf finally appears in his final form, Samus freezes up in fear and has to basically be saved by an ally. She snaps out of it, but still, it's the fact that she was freaked out like that. Now, this would be great. This would be amazing storytelling if this was the first time she encountered Ridley. If this was the first time she encountered him, this would be great. But no, if we're going by the storyline or the timeline, this is one of the last games in the entire timeline. The only other game being known to be past this is Metroid Fusion. So that means she's fought in Meta, uh, Ridley dozens of Dozens of times up to this point. She should not be afraid anymore. And Shadowhunter said, if that was the case, I wouldn't be, I would, and if this was the case, I wouldn't be scared. I would be angry. I'd be looking for vengeance after the slaughtering of my parents. I have the tools. I have the ability to do this. I would kill him. And you know what? That would have been a great thing. That would have shown character. That would have shown good character. That would have shown her being brave, showing no fear. That would have shown her a darker side, maybe a more vengeful, bloodthirsty side. It'd be better than this scared little girl, always frail inside, always so scared. No, screw that. I think they added that to Samus' personality for the sole fact that it's a great contrast to him. To what you'd expect from her. Noise. Okay. I think I'm done here. Um, I have one more part because I've had so much to say about this video, it's astonishing. So, uh, can't wait for part three. Wait, there's a part three?